Hello and happy Friday! Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and this is Fluke Fridays episode number 110. I'm glad you're here. So thanks for joining today. What we're going to talk about is a quick unboxing video um, of the Fluke new wire tracer, the Fluke 2062. So we're just going to jump right into it. Should be a short video. I'm just going to show you what it is and uh, go from there. I did make a video last week, which I think is episode 109, that shows some application of this if you want to know how to find breakers and stuff. So you can check that out too. Here we go. Okay. Bust open this box and go through that. So, nicer case than the 2052, um, feels more rugged and stout, not that the 2052 case was bad, it is a nice case too, but this is just bigger, more rugged, feels really like a Pelican case, I'm sure it's not an actual Pelican, but um, feels like a Pelican case. And we've got, you know, the seal around there, so really good quality stuff. Um, this is interesting. I'm not sure where that's at, but okay. You got your user manuals. No surprise there. Quick start guides. Let me get these out of the wrapper and then we'll jump back. Okay, I got the plastic wrap off. And we can see a lot of the same um, accessories, uh, maybe all of the same accessories as the 2052. Um, so you get your I-400 clamp accessory um oh you get a magnet i didn't open this up yet but this is a magnet hanging strap if and i believe the 2052 that i received did not have this so i don't know if uh the 2052 is gonna have that as an accessory or not but the one i received did not um whereas the 2062 did which that's kind of nice to be able to hang your transmitter up if you're outside a cabinet or something, there's this little slot right here. If for some reason you didn't get this, uh, you can always buy a T-Pack uh, from Fluke. The T-Pack accessory is actually going to be a much better magnet than this, I can already tell. Um, so you might want to upgrade to a T-Pack anyways, because I'm pretty sure a T-Pack would fit right in there. So you'd be good there. But magnet accessory, you get these probes, just like in the 2052. These are designed for motor um connections as well as higher voltage like 240 and 480 uh receptacles i i don't see a lot of application for these but somebody somebody at fluke thought they were really important i i just don't know what the true application is yet so anyways you get two of those you get your red test lead and obviously you pull these little plugs out when you want to get started um, then you get your long ground test lead I think it's like 25 feet or something and then you get your black test lead so you get all those and then you get the blade probes for sticking into outlets at least here in the US that's what the I would use these for and then these more round um, plugs I'm not sure. I, I think you can put them into the ground side of a receptacle. Um, there might be other receptacles, different sizes, where that would make sense to have that round one. And then, of course, the alligator clips if you want to clamp on directly to um, a, a wire or a junction box. And then you got your banana jacks in there that you would plug your test leads into. Okay, so we got that. We do have this meter i had put the batteries in it before so we can actually turn it on and kind of see uh, one thing you're going to see with this screen it's a much larger screen than the 2052 um i think overall it's 
better. I really like the user interface of this. It's much better than the old um, Ampro version. They did some big upgrades to where it auto selects. So I like it. One thing I did notice about using the 2062 versus the 2052, this does seem to have more sensitive uh, tip sensors. So you might be able to find stuff that you can't find with the 2052, so you have that. And then here on the back, and I haven't done this video yet, I'll need to do that, is a smart sensor. So what that is, is it's designed to where you would basically put it on a wall. Get this in focus again. You put it on a wall and kind of go around. Let me uh, get it to the smart sensor. And it's gonna have a this target on here and it's gonna draw a line and tell you which direction the wire is behind the wall, which is great if your wire's not running in conduit or uh, MCC. And then the transmitter, same as same exact transmitter uh, that comes with the 2052 kit. So yeah, check it out. I do think this case is a better case. I like how they actually have individual pockets for the accessories, so they're not just bouncing around in this. Even the um, the clamp has its own little slot here, so your stuff's going to be uh, a little less jumping around on you when you're out in the field. But that's the unboxing. That's all I have for you guys. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, at least you'll know what comes in the box. It does come with batteries in the box. Um, the energizer batteries and yeah let me know what you think hopefully this helps you guys if you're looking at buying it that you know exactly what you're getting if you liked what you saw today don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you've watched more than three videos don't forget to subscribe you guys have a great weekend and we'll talk to you next week